Hi, I'm Patty Wilkinson from I Love to Create, and I want to show you how to make rings using cornstarch and Aline's tacky glue to create air dry clay. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need tacky cornstarch clay, Aline's jewelry metal adhesive tabs, and ring blanks. Now to make the rows, pinch off a pea-sized bit of clay. Squeeze the pea between your fingers to flatten it into a small round piece the thickness of a piece of paper. To make the center of the rows, roll the flattened piece between your fingers, turning the top edge back slightly to look as if the rows were just beginning to open. Pinch off another pea-sized bit of clay and flatten it as before. Press the top edges back slightly to make a petal. And now place the row center in the middle of this petal and wrap the petal around the center, just pressing them together slightly at the bottom. Make another petal in the same manner and just continue adding petals until the rose looks complete. Cut or pinch the base of the rose to create a flat surface that will later attach to the ring form. Now lay it aside and let it dry for at least 24 hours. When the clay is completely dry, use an Aline's jewelry and metal adhesive tab to attach to your ring form by simply peeling and sticking. Now be sure to press firmly. If you want to add color to the finished ring, brush paint onto the rose, being careful to get the color deep inside the petals. And you can also leave it white for a porcelain look. Now you've just created a super cute, one-of-a-kind ring out of air-dry clay made with cornstarch and Aline's Tacky Glue. I hope you enjoyed this project. Be sure and check out more of my tacky techniques. Subscribe to our channel. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button.